Michael Lance here. I wanted to make a quick video on middle age excess weight. I help people look and feel great, live with abundant energy, and create a life they love. When I hit middle age, I started to get this tire around my stomach. For guys, that's where it's at. For ladies, when they're younger, they get more of their weight in here, and as they get older and go through menopause, then it shifts to their belly, and why is that? Let's look at LPL, lipoprotein lipase. When you're young versus older, burn fat, store fat. As we get older, our bodies have more LPL, goes up. When there's excess quantity of LPL in the body, then you start storing fat. Scientists haven't figured out why that is. I have my own ideas. As a re I think it has something to do with evolution as we get older. We're storing fat for protection in times of famine to where we might not be able to go out and hunt when we were hunter-gatherers, and this is the way the good Lord kept us protected is we quit burning as much fat and yet we know today that when you get excess fat you're a target for a lot of different health issues such as diabetes cancers the number one killer in america is heart disease all of these are related to excess weight there are three ways to overcome that the first you could probably guess is diet but I want to go in a little more detail with diet as this happens right here when LPL goes up we start having another hormone that's also raised and that hormone is insulin diabetics are insulin resistant that means their body doesn't react to insulin anymore let me tell you what insulin does if I have a, this is an airplane wing, and over here is insulin. Over here is fat burning. When insulin is high, fat burning is low. When, it, when the plane goes the opposite way, when insulin is low, fat burning is high. We wanna be in a state of fat burning. We have to shift our diets. We have to start moving away from carbohydrates and putting more fat in our body because in this response over here, carbohydrates do this. They raise insulin. Fats do this. They lower insulin. So there has to be a shift in your diet to less carbohydrates, more fat. Now inside of the blog post down below, if you'll click on that link and look through the blog post, I talk about the right kinds of carbohydrates to eat. And these are carbohydrates that have a low glycemic load. As an example, we know that watermelon, it is so sweet and good, but the load is low. Why? Because you're not getting, I mean, you have to eat a whole lot of watermelon to get any kind of bike and that insulin insulin goes up fat burning is low inside of that blog post there's a free download of what foods have a lower glycemic load and you want to stick to those kind of foods well that's the first thing about diet and you have to test I show in the blog post simple ways to determine your body fat percentage because you as you go through this phase to where you're lowering carbohydrates and raising, you want to see exactly if it's working or not. You can buy these inexpensive calipers, like $20 at the drug food store, and you just pull certain areas and you pinch it, and then you look at the code on there and look at the table and determine how much fat you have. The other is Tanita body composition scale where you just get on it and it gives you a rough estimate of your body fat percentage. I list both of those in the blog post. So that's the first key is as we are getting older, we have to change our diet because this is absolutely going on. Number two, stress. 
strength training. LPL raises when testosterone goes down. Now we know that men have more testosterone than women, but as LPL rises, testosterone is reduced. And one way that uh, we can raise testosterone levels and, and lower LPL and get into a fat burning state is through strength training. We lose muscle as we age. I know when I started triathlon at age 49, today I'm 63, I've lost muscle. I have to purposely build muscle to, to retain what I have. Over the last year, I've tried to build muscle, primarily for this, because I had this tire. I couldn't get rid of it either. So we have to build muscle. You have to figure out what works for you Maybe go hire a trainer, do some research on YouTube, but you have to build muscle because muscle lowers LPL, muscle raises testosterone and reverses this situation. And the third and final way, hit high intensity interval training. What is that? That means to where you go really hard. You're raising your heart rate. You can't hardly get enough air in. You're breathing hard for short periods of time. Intervals. As an example, if you did a combined total of five minutes hard in this form of interval, where you work out really hard for 30 seconds after you get worn up, then you're on a spin bike, you're running, you're swimming, you're doing burpees, something that really jacks your heart rate up. You do that for 30 seconds, and then you rest anywhere, at least 30 seconds, you rest at the length of the interval, or as you get older and you're not used to high intensity training, you might wanna double that. So you work out extremely, you go really hard for 30 seconds, then you rest for 30 seconds to a minute, even, for a minute and a half, three times, whatever the interval length was. And then you do repeat that. And you would repeat that cycle 10 times. Thus, five total minutes of high intensity training. What, what that does, it does build muscle, and it raises testosterone and increases your metabolic rate. When you increase your metabolic rate, you won't store fat, you'll burn fat. These are three ways that as you get middle age to keep the fat off. <clears throat> if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And down below, I've got some links. One is to my blog to, of this post where you can get that free download. Subscribe to my blog while you're there. And also, I have a link below of my superfood system that focuses on your ability to burn fat plus really maximize building muscle and going hard. You'll wanna click on that and watch that free short video. You guys take care. See you again soon. Bye.